Hey there. Sorry here. Um, so we've got um, quite a few pieces of, of new content this week. So there, there are actually two new trials in the uh, the Chamber of Arms, which is kind of nice to see. Um, un unfortunately, um, even over on the the JP side, they haven't introduced any new trials to the Chamber of Arms after these. Um, and JP is usually like four to six months ahead of us. So. That, that's not a good sign. Um, kind of like most new content, they put out one iteration of it and then forget about it. Um, you know, uh, kind of like Gumi did with um, with Chamber of Vengeance and uh, and Morgana. They they did one one new Chamber of Vengeance trial with Morgana and then just decided to forget about it and they're not doing any more content. So I wouldn't be surprised if these are the last. Uh, of the trials that we see, but these are coming from the JP side, so we don't really know what to expect over there. But it's not a good sign um, that they haven't <laughs> introduced any other new trials. But anyways, um, you know, that's just one of the many gripes that I have with the game. Um, uh, I, I'm actually going to put out a video later today sort of uh, covering that a little bit more in depth. Um, but to get to the Chamber of Arms, the quickest way, you know, you can you can obviously you can go to the far plane if you want and, and enter it from there, but the easiest way is just to go to the Nemesis tab, click Chamber of Arms, and it takes you right there. Okay. Um, so, you know, if you haven't already done all the, the Chamber of Arms, definitely do it. Um, you know, they're <laughs> They're easily power crept by now. Uh, 12, 12 trials. They're very, very power crept. The, the most annoying thing, though, is that they they almost all have like two or three or more uh, HP locks, and so it's just a matter of like fighting through the HP locks. But with Neovision units, you should be able to just uh, face smash through all of them. Uh, once you beat all 12 of them, you get this little swirling vortex in the middle, um, and you can so you now have three options, right? Um, so you can examine this place, and if you say yes, then it will take you to the hidden chamber of arms, which is where the current, uh, probably currently the most difficult trial in the game uh, is can be found, and that's uh, Bialkua, uh, who is the the like demon insect princess, right? Uh, the, the the spider demon spider princess. She's pretty creepy looking, and she's actually got a really cool sprite, uh, and and it's a really fun fight. I have not beaten it yet, um, and I'll, I'll get to that hopefully later today, maybe over the weekend, not really sure. Um, or if you hit Prove Your Strength, that takes you to Warden Welter, um, who is sort of like the final boss of the uh, original Chamber of Arms. I'm going to hit No, because I'm, I'm not going to do this uh, just yet. Um, what I'm going to do is, if you, if you don't know, you can actually come back over to Sheraton, um, and Sheraton now has a new new level, the Troubled Strategist Vengeance. Um, and so we're going to do that one first. Okay. Um, and then later on today, hopefully, I can uh, put out a clear on Bialkua. Um, so here are the missions. Uh, so if you just by clearing it, you get the upgrade to the Holy Wand. Um, it becomes a two handed. Uh, high mag staff, which gives you uh, allows you to dual cast um, white magic if you couldn't do so innately, which could be useful on on certain units. Um, it's it's often a little strange to have a two handed high mag staff, but you could give it to someone like Yuna. Yuna would really uh, appreciate this. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of too many other units that would like a high mag staff, but Yuna uh, Yuna might like this one. Um, other missions are deal fire fire damage uh, to get 100 lapis clear within 20 turns uh, for Sheraton's enmity, which I'm not actually sure what that is. Um, we'll find out at the end, I guess. And then clear without a death uh, for 100 lapis. This one is um, definitely easier than Bialkua, uh, and so I'm actually going to take in a turn uh, a team, no friend unit. I'm going to depart without a companion. I'm going to do this with five units, and we're going to get it done in five turns. Um, now, obviously, I'm using Wondrous Flash Lightning. You know, uh, she's the the new hotness. Not everybody has her. I'm sure there will be guides out there without her. Uh, probably lots of budget guides because you have 20 turns. I'm going to do this in five and just make it real quick and simple. But for those of you uh, that did pull for Wondrous Flash Lightning, like I did, 
here's how I took care of it. Obviously, if you brought a friend unit, you can bring a friend. If you bring a friend lightning, you're gonna make very, very short work of it. Uh, the boss does have a, an HP lock at the 50% mark. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, Sheraton is a human, half human, half plant. So we have Chizuru on the, on the party uh, for the plant killer, and we have Ling on the party for the human killer. Uh, Esther is there just because she's my best girl. Gotta have Esther. Uh, and then Abby is there just basically doing everything else, tanking, breaking, all that jazz. Okay. So let's get in here and let's see how we get this done in five turns. Okay. <laughs> yep, nice little, the, the Sheraton story. Okay. And what's what's really cool is that Vialcua is apparently Sheraton's uh, sister. So when you go to the hidden chamber of arms, um, and if you if you beat Vialcua, you actually free Sheraton and you get Sheraton as the unit, uh, which is a, a terrible unit but has a really good STMR that has a 100% uh, bug killer on it. All right, um, first things first, we're just gonna have a setup turn here. Lightning's gonna imbue um, her use in, Thund in Thundaga to imbue. That's mostly for Chizuru, because Chizuru doesn't have a lightning imbue of her own. Um, and then we'll do uh, the whole world is against us for the mod boost to her LB. Uh, and then we'll just hit the boss. All right, Esther's gonna do true storm brand, energizing bunny and calm before the storm. Abby just does drone cover, anti-magic, anti-physical. <clears throat> Ling is going to do transcendent performance, uh, purifying dance for any ailments we might uh, get hit with, and refreshing twirl for some mirage. Chizuru just does strong samurai, staunch samurai, and eastern winds for the katana emperor. Okay, so I think we should be good there. Yep. Uh, so this boss has, I think, 20, 20 billion HP. So if you want to hit the HP lock, you need to do 10 billion HP. Okay. Or 10 billion damage. We're probably not going to hit that next turn. Um, if you had two lightnings, you would almost certainly hit it this turn. Um, but yeah, since I'm only bringing one, you know. Because you may not be guaranteed to find a friend out there. But turns out you don't need it. All right, Esther is gonna do her LB. Chizuru is going to do Plant Pulverizer. Ling is gonna to shift to Brave Shift. All right, and she's going to do Assassin Stance for the Human Killer, and then another Refreshing Twirl. All right, Abigail is going to do Triple Support Drone Flamethrower. This is gonna take care of our fire damage for that mission. Okay, so I'm gonna send Esther first, and then I'm gonna do Chizuru, Lightning, Abigail in that order. Okay, and let's see how we do. Yeah, nice, good little chunk of damage there. Okay, so um, we're going to try to do one more um, LB. So Ling will come and do Celestial Dance, followed by Dragon Dancer, and then just another uh, Assassin Stance. Okay, um, and that will fill up Lightning. All right, Chizuru is going to go ahead and shift and do her LB. Okay. Uh, we'll do double bolting slice on for the storm just to get her ready. Um, and then Abby can just do yeah, drone cover, anti-physical, anti-magic, just to re-up all that stuff. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Mm, yeah, we'll just go ahead and send Ling uh, to fill up lightning. So the hope is that we can 
you know, push 50%. We may not. We may come up short. It's okay if that happens. It's not a big deal. We'll definitely push it on turn four if we don't push it now. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and send her. All right. And she'll be good to go. Yeah, there we go. Pushed it. Perfect. Okay. Alright, Abby covers all that. Ling is provoking with full evasion, but we also have Mirage in case, you know, in case she's not, in case you don't have evasion. Alright, uh, Ling on this turn needs to do her, uh, her LB because um, Esther's LB buff for the party has worn off and only lasts for three turns. Uh, Lightning is going to... <laughs> she's going to do How I Live is Up to Me. So we saved this. You notice we saved this for now because uh, we want that sword and peril on uh, uh, at this point so that we can finish the fight. Uh, and then we'll do um, Elemental Burst, Lightning, and um, Lightning Strike. Okay. Uh, Abigail, we'll just do her SLB, um, Esther will do her LB, uh, and yeah, I think that should work, um, we'll, uh, Chizuru will do this, uh, her Devastating, which fills her, her LB back up, it, it also will be a tag chaining move now, so it'll be easier to, chag, uh, to chain with Esther that way, okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. I think that's what we want, right? Okay. Yep. So Abigail automatically broke um, the the fruits with her eighty percent full break. So you know they're not going to deal any considerable damage anyways. So I'll send Esther and then Chizuru uh, and Lightning. Which I might send Lightning first, just to go ahead and uh, make sure that her finisher lands, but it's no big deal. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, it doesn't really, uh, doesn't chain as well with the tag chain, does it? No big deal. All right, and now we just uh, kill the boss. Pretty easy. All right, Ling's, all Ling needs to do is just re-up the uh, human killer. All right, Esther is just going to triple bolting strike to chain with lightning. Jizuru, her LB tag chains anyways, so we don't have to worry about it. And all you have to do is kill Sheraton. You actually don't have to kill the fruits. Uh, as long as you kill Sheraton, the fruits will die, so. We don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, and we'll just have Abby do some more chaining. Okay. And we should be good. Mm -hmm -hmm. Alright, I'll start Chizuru. Yep, he's dead before, you know, before the last hit. <clears throat> So you see, the, the fruits still have 50% health, but um, as long as you kill Sheraton, you are all good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see, wow, okay. We did 16 billion on that one. Uh, boss only has 20 billion HP, so you're definitely killing boss. Um, after you push that that threshold there, so you know, seeing that I'm, I would be, I would bet that an EX1 um, Lightning could probably still do this as, as long as she's well built. You know, my team is definitely overkill, um, but an EX1 Lightning could probably do it, especially if you brought, you know, a Lightning friend along with you. Um, and yeah, Lightning is of course carrying this. She did, she literally did. 
over 20 billion all by herself. So Chizuru and Esther are just there, you know, uh, they're just cheerleaders, right, really. Um, but, you know, Esther is important for the LB field, also for the LB buff for the first three turns. Uh, Chizuru is, of course, great for the, um, for the plant killer and for the chaining. Um, and yeah, if, you're, if your lightning is only, you know, EX1, then having Chizuru and Esther there to do, you know, deal that extra damage may absolutely be necessary, right? Um, so yeah, here's a, a, a quick five turn um, guide to get all of those done. There are some like some uh, extra hidden quests uh, that you can do by like you know clearing the boss with certain team co party compositions and things like that. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that later at some point. This is just my initial clear that does it in all missions. Okay. All right. Um, I will show you the team gear in just a minute. All right, so let's take a quick look. I'll just go back in real quick. And show you the team gear. All right, so Chizuru. Um, nothing too fancy, her own STMR, obviously. Then just high attack gear in this form. Um, you notice I gave her Tyvus the Spirit, but we didn't end up using it. This is just kind of like some favor to gear that I have in, uh, on her. Um, she does have, uh, she hits plant killers pretty much innately, just a little bit of human killer in this form. Um, she, this isn't really her, her damage form. Her damage form is a Brave Shift, of course. Um, so we just made sure that we capped up her LB damage, made sure that we gave her uh, the, the human killer. And see there's a slot open there. So she's 300 human, 300 plant, 300 LB damage. And that's, you know, that's the main thing. So there's a slot left open. Um, she does have cool smile vision card, but as you can see, it's not necessary. Um, Lightning is the one that's really carrying the fight here. Um, but Chizuru does get the, the leader skill, so you know it, it, anything you can give her to make her deal more damage is really, really, really nice. Okay. Um, Abigail, just built for full-on bulk. Um, this is actually the, the build I'm using to go up against uh, Bialcula, um, but it works here just as well. Um, really, she just needs Earth Resists the boss does some earth magic um and that's the only element i believe the boss uses is earth element i could be wrong it's the only one i really noticed in the fight um but yeah just make sure she has earth resist uh that's that's the most important thing uh lightning in her normal form it's pretty irrelevant um she's not doing any damage in her normal form um yeah you can see i i, I actually uh, still have her built for bialcula here in her normal form um in her Embracer form, however, where she's doing all the damage, just gave her all my best gear. Um, obviously, if you are if you don't have all the best gear, you're still going to be crushing this fight. So, um, yeah, don't stress, right? Um, you know, my team did 16 billion after the 50, uh, after the 50% threshold. You only need to do 10 billion to kill from 50%, right? So it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, I... Obviously, if you don't have this vision card, just give her the best one that you have. Um, and so she is capped on human and plant and LB damage. Good to go. All right, that's all you really need to worry about. Um, Ling is our evade provoke unit. This is all just kind of like favorited gear that, that is always on her. Um, so here's what I use to make her uh, evade. She's got her own vision card because who cares? Um, yeah, uh, she does have air news ring in case you wanted her to chain with you know, with some black magic, so she, she could chain triple Thundara if you needed her to, uh, but we didn't need to use it. All right, um, that's it. Uh, Esther, so here's the gear that we used on Esther, so Esther got the rest of my Clash gear. Um, Scanning Goggles and Sand Mantle are good examples of uh, gear with Plant Killer on it, because that one's kind of a, a harder one to gear for, for some people. Um, so this one's from the Legend of Mana... Uh, can't remember which unit this came from. Oh, Elazul, yeah. So it is limited, you might not have it, but it does have 50% plant killer on it. And yeah, there you go, pretty pretty basic stuff. Um, this is from the near event, so it's got 100% human killer, which is nice, her own vision card. So I think she is capped, uh, not quite, 275 to both human and plant, but that's no big deal, close enough. 
he gets the job done. And there you go. All right, um, an easy, uh, quick and easy clear with um, with only five units. I'm sure there's, you know, there are probably going to be faster clears out there. Like I said, if you bring two lightnings, you'll probably be doing this on like turn three, you know, like a turn two or turn three clear probably if you bring a couple of lightnings to this one. I'm sure there are ways to get this one done much faster, but this is just the way I did it for you. So I uh, hope this was helpful, and I will see you on the other side.